Now, a lot of you guys, a lot of the time, have commented that I seem to like a lot of movies. Is there anything that I don't like? Well, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where I talk about movies, music, TV shows, a lot of nostalgic things that I like, a few current and newer things, but mostly to bring older stuff back to the forefront. A lot of people may not have seen or heard a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about, and this is just the way of getting it back out there. And today is one of those days where that's not going to happen. I'm going to talk to you about something that I didn't particularly care for. Let's talk about Prince's Graffiti Bridge. Look, it's not the worst movie in the world. That would be The Fountain. But that's another video for another time. So Graffiti Bridge is Prince's third movie. And after he knocked it out of the park in Purple Rain, he came back with Under the Cherry Moon, which you either got it or you didn't get it. But it was a good movie either way. This one, not so much. Let's dish it out. Okay, so let's talk about this movie, Graffiti Bridge. It came out in 1990. It's a rock musical drama. And this film was written by, directed by, and starring Prince. This was his final major theatrical film role. Um, and it is a standalone sequel to the 1984 film Purple Rain, but again, stark contrast to the Purple Rain. Now, I'll do a soundtrack review soon. Love the music. Where I have a problem with is the film, but I'll get to that. Okay, the film again stars Prince along with Morris Day, Jerome Benton, The Time, Jill Jones, Mavis Staples, George Clinton, Ingrid Chavez, and Tevin Campbell. It was released in November of 1990. It has a runtime of 90 minutes, and um, the budget for the film was $7 million, which is modest by Hollywood standards. However, the box office was only $4.6 million. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not alone in the number of people that uh, did not particularly care for this film. Now, as far as the plot, um, it continues with the kid, his uh, persona from Purple Rain, living a future life as an upbeat performer, co-owner of a nightclub, Glam Slam, which was willed to him by Billy, who owned the First Avenue Club in the first film. He spends his personal time composing songs and writing letters to his deceased father. And the co-owner of the club is Morris, who's played by Morris Day, his rival from the first film, and now owns his club, Pandemonium. Now, Morris wanting to seize all the clubs in the location tries to extort the money from the kid by threatening to take full ownership of Glam Slam. And making matters more interesting is the arrival of Aura, an angel sent from heaven to sway both Morris and the kid into leading more righteous lives. Now, while dealing with their attraction to her, on top of that, Look, I'm, I'm at a loss here. As far as the plot, there are more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Here's where I have the problems with the movie. Aside from plot, acting, and direction itself. Okay, you just heard the plot points right there. So you can see how far-fetched it is. There's been a lot worse plots, but if it's not executed right, it comes out to be horrible. That's where we get to the acting. 
I don't know where the drop off came from. This movie came years after Purple Rain. And usually with anyone who acts, your acting gets better over time, not worse. That is not the case for any of the repeat performers in this movie, AKA Prince or Morris or any of the other members. Um, if it's not wooden, it's almost like they mailed it in. Hey, let's get this paycheck. Let's just be wild and crazy or let's do nothing at all. The acting is horrid. The execution is horrid. Um, new actors, you can tell that uh, they're a little screen shy as well. Things don't come off as warm or inviting as they should for a professional actor. When you have a problem with a character's motivation, already it's not believable. And that's where directing comes into play. This could have been so much better, but it wasn't. Now, let me tell you my final problem with this. And this kind of ties in with directing too because it's the director's responsibility to get things the way he wants them. If you look at Purple Rain, it was actually shot in real areas. It looked like it was happening for real. In this film, Graffiti Bridge, if you look at it, it just doesn't look right. You can tell that they are just pre-built sets most of the time. And that disturbs me because to me it looks like, hey, I'm watching a play that somebody put on and videotaped. That's what it looks like to me. If you've ever seen your kid's high school play, you've recorded it and you play it back later, that's what it comes across to as me. Again, it's not like I hate Prince or anything like that. Love Prince, love Purple Rain, liked Under the Cherry Moon, but Graffiti Bridge, there was just a whole lot of things that were off to me. Nothing horrible, horrible bad, but when you've got so many things that are even off a little, it adds up. So that's where I have the problem with this movie. And that's why I can only give this movie a two out of four. I can't do any better than that because I'm being generous with this two, by the way. If it wasn't for the music, which like I said, is great, this movie would probably be a one or less. Now, I'm not going to keep blasting it. Like I said, there's a lot of Prince fans out there and a lot who love this movie. There's even a handful that put this movie above the other two. That's not me. Um, the majority of the people that I know will agree with me. It would go Purple Rain. Uh, under the Cherry Moon, and then this movie, A Distant Third. Now, my brother Kaz, he prefers Under the Cherry Moon over Purple Rain, which is fine. That's also a good movie. But I don't know anybody that would pick this one first. If you like this one better than the other two, please leave me a comment below and tell me why. But yeah, the best I can give this movie is a two. If you haven't seen it, you're not missing anything. If you're curious, watch it. Then come back here and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Okay, look, I've watched the film a couple times. Once back in the day when it was originally out. Once again, just to review and get it back in my head. 100% honesty here. Probably never, ever, ever, ever gonna watch it again. Just saying. All right, that's all the time I've got for today. But please, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see or hear in the future. I'll try to get that on for you. I greatly appreciate all you guys for watching. I can't thank you enough. Stay positive, 
Stay blessed. I'll see you again.